Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh The Dean Sisters presents To know him is to love him Al-Ghani The self-sufficient, the free of need Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim The name Al-Ghani means to be self-sufficient and independent to be free from needs or wants to be satisfied content and to be wealthy and rich it appears in over 15 places in the quran we should understand that all we do is for our benefits our salah sadaqa qiyam etc and not because allah needs any of them we are the ones who are poor and in need allah says ya ayyuha الناس انتم الفقراء الى الله والله هو الغني الحميد O mankind you are those in need of Allah while Allah is the free of need al ghani the praiseworthy There are many times we have found ourselves in need of certain things and we don't know who to even ask or sometimes we do ask but no one seems to be able or willing to help because we are humans we are deficient and thus we can't always be there for whoever needs us always not because we are bad people but sometimes it's just not possible no matter how hard we try note also that allah is al mughni the enricher al wahhab the bestower of gifts and al razzaq the provider let's make it a habit to ask allah for everything and anything we need Let's ask him first. You, you need help with something in Wabun school, work, kids, family. Ask Allah. Before you make that call to someone, pause. Talk to Al-Ghani first. The Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If you ask, then ask Allah, and if you seek help, then seek help from Allah. Ask from the one who will never be reduced in any way, the one who is pleased when asked." and would never feel disturbed or displeased by our incessant requests. Allah says in hadith qudsi, "O my servants, if the first of you and the last of you and the humans of you and the jinn of you were all to stand together in one place and ask of me and I were to give everyone what he requested, then that would not decrease what I possess except what is decreased of the ocean when a needle is dipped into it." While we are not self-sufficient, it is important we try as much as possible to be independent and not ask too much too often as it reduces our dignity in the sight of others and makes us appear irritating to them. The opportunities we have vary, so also our risk. Thus, we should learn to be content with what we have and do away with greed. The Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Whoever refrains from asking others, then Allah will make him content whoever would be independent then Allah would make him independent if we keep our duty to Allah then he will always suffice for us Allah says wa may yattaqillaha yaj'al lahu makhraja wa yarzuquhu min haythu la yahtasib wa may yatawakkal 'ala Allah fa huwa hasbuh إن الله بالغ أمره قد جعل الله لكل شيء قدرا and whoever fears Allah he will make for him a way out and will provide for him from where he does not expect and whoever relies upon Allah then he is sufficient for him indeed Allah will accomplish his purpose Allah has already set for everything a decreed extent May Al-Ghani suffice for us fully, always. Ameen. If you benefited from this video, please follow the Dean Sisters on YouTube and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the rest. You can also help support the organization and give yourself or your loved one the chance to be an even better Muslim, inshallah, by pre-ordering for this e-book written by the co-founder of the organization. The link is salah.co forward slash m forward slash um underscore muhammad. Launch date is 29th April 2021 and your book will be sent to your email address inshallah. Price goes up after launch so get yours now and support yourself and the Dane sisters.